Good day everyone and welcome to Above the Shop where I have a small home climbing gym. Now those of you who are climbers know that it's possible to exert a lot of force through holds that are relatively small. In addition to that experience, I ordered some holds from Escape Climbing. Now holds often have a primary bolt hole and then secondary screw holes to keep them from twisting or turning on the on the wall. What was odd with these is that the screw holes are put in at the weakest point in the mold. Um, it just you would think it would make more sense to move this over here anywhere other than this tiny section of material. So that combined with just experience kind of got me wondering like well just how strong are these and couldn't find any information online so in the absence of existing information uh, we've got to create our own knowledge so in the interest of furthering human knowledge let's break some shit okay so i've got a collection of four holds that i think will be appropriate uh, for what we're trying to do here. I'm not sure we're going to be drawing any conclusions here, but we'll at least have four anecdotes. Okay, so my plan for setting this up, I think, is um, we're going to use a trailer hitch. I'm using two vehicles as my anchor points. I think that's prudent. We'll take, take this plate steel, drill a hole in it so we can mount it to the trailer hitch. We'll drill a hole over here that a hold can be mounted into. And then we'll be able to attach our makeshift hand. And then this will go out to a scale and a winch. And then we'll just progressively increase the load until something gives. Okay, let's go over the setup here. Got trailer hitch with the plate attached to it. The ball is essentially acting just as a pin to keep the plate attached to the hitch. Uh, this is loose right now, like this can rotate a little bit. Ugh. Well, theoretically. I want this to find its own center before I tighten it down. Um, and we've got our metal hand going into a hand winch. Technically a hoist. Uh, so I'll be over there, hopefully safely, um, tightening this up. And we've got a 6,000 pound uh, scale. Uh, and then anchored to the Jeep. So, I mean, look at this. If this does not just scream good idea and pure brilliance, I don't know what does. All right, test one, underway. So, interesting, this did not slip, it bent. This was bent over before, so this bent, that was the failure point. So we need to make a new one of these out of something stouter. Okay, we've got our new metal hand created. Strap over the top to try to keep it from popping off there. I think this is a reasonable attempt to Okay, that wasn't a slip, that was actually a break. And as expected, broken the two weakest parts. Very, very cool. Now, I'm not sure how well this one's gonna work out as far as a test goes because that, you know, it's right behind the bolt. So we might be testing the strength of a couple different things, but the hold should fail at some point. So we'll find out when that is, I guess. Okay, we're all set. We're up to 72 pounds already.
Okay, we're at 2,000, but uh, my Jeep is getting pulled closer to me. I think that's our limiting factor. I'm gonna see if I can put some wheel chocks in there. Okay, see if that helps us get a little extra force out of this. Uh, we're up to close to 2,300 pounds, but I'm not getting much more, so I think we're going to have to call it. I'd say we determined this style is very strong. I don't think we'll be able to test with the screw on hold after this. After that, it just, with the fastener being in front of whatever you're clamping to, I just don't think we're going to get what we want there. So let's set up for this guy. I'm thinking this is going to be pretty interesting. Okay, just about ready. I'm going to throw some tape on this just in case this piece breaks off. I don't want it to go flying. Okay, we're at about 122 pounds. Starting off. Man, that was loud. There you go. Basically what you would expect to happen. Okay, folks. I found one more hold that uh, kind of fits the bill of how we have to mount it. Um, got some weather coming in, so let's see if we can get this done quickly. Okay, we're at 124 pounds. Let's go. <laughs> nice clean break there. Well, did we learn anything today? I think we did. I think the primary takeaway is that these are all plenty strong for the purpose. Um, we also learned, you know, designing your hold with uh, small sections of material uh, does weaken them compared to not, but I don't think that's really a huge problem. And we did see that it did break, you know, near the screw holes, but not at the screw holes. So they they were not the limiting factor there. And we also learned that holds where the bolt hole is below, you know, where you're pulling, uh, these are exceptionally strong. So climbing holds, uh, I'm, I think we've determined that they are perfectly safe, uh, which we largely already knew. Uh, but now we have a small amount of data. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, farewell.